Hey YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Well guys, I'm sitting there in the uh, fox den and I'm trying to decide what I want to carry with me when I go hunting this Tuesday. It's Sunday now. I like to prepare a day early or two days early in this case. Last time I went hunting, last what, last weekend, uh, uh, I went into the woods with a headlamp that had bad batteries in it, my rifle, and some ammo. And that's it. And I know better than that, but that's all I did. I wasn't very well prepared, so this time I'm going to be a little bit more prepared. I've gone through basically and I've decided instead of taking my rustic backpack which will hold a lot of stuff, I really don't need that much stuff. We're not camping, we're not cooking, I will have already had breakfast, I'll get lunch on the way out, I might want to take a snack with me. So I just decided to take my haversack. And this is my habitat. You can see there I've got my McLean coat of arms on there. Virtue thine honor. Uh, that's not the coat of arms. That's the crest. For the McLean clan. That's my mom's side of the family. This is an old haversack. I've had it for many, many years. It's been used. But not abused. And uh, let me put this pipe down. And uh, it's just a basic haversack. You've got a strap. You've got a top that opens up on the inside up here. You've got a pocket. Then you've got your main pocket. And that's all there is to it. Now, usually if you've seen my video on my haversack loadout, there are a lot of things that I usually keep in there. I'm not going to need them for this hunting trip. So I took them out. Things like a kooksa. I'm not going to need that. I'm not going to need my saw because there are well-defined trails to get to the tree stand that I'm going to be sitting in. I'm not going to need my wooden spoon. I'm not going to take my Uberlieben ferro rod. As much as I'd like to take a cigar, I'm not going to smoke in the tree stand because there go the deer. I'm not going to take the little cheap $1 headlamp that I got at Walmart for one buck, even though it works. I'm not going to need my water purification system here. I'm not going to take my Sawyer Mini water purifier. And I'm not going to take my full cook kit, uh, my Stanley, Stanley cup and cook set, because I'm not going to need all of that. So, well, what are you going to take then? It looks like you've taken everything out of your haversack. Well, of course I'm going to take my rifle. In my haversack, in the top part, I always keep a, uh, a bandana. Because you never know when you'll need a bandana for what. I'm going to take a couple of these little fruit and grain cereal bars. Okay, in case I get hungry. I am going to take my binoculars this time. And these are some great little binoculars. They're cheap ones. I guess. I don't know. I've had them so long. I don't know how much they actually cost. But they're Tasco 12 by 25. And I know some people are like, well, you've got a scope on your rifle. So why do you need binoculars? Well, it's just easier if you have these around your neck all the time. Instead of moving the rifle around with a scope and stuff like that, you can leave your rifle stationary. Just reach right here and do a quick scan. And if you see something, you can always drop them, then pick up the rifle and go that way. They're going in the have a sack. Uh, I'm also going to take extra bullets. I'm going to use my Mossberg ATR 100 30-06. I know uh, 12 bullets is a Overkill and you're like, oh, you're taking 12 bullets because you're you're planning on missing. No, 
Maybe I'm planning on killing 12 deer. Nah, couldn't do that, but wouldn't it be cool to use all my deer tags in one stand sitting? Wow, that would be awesome. It'll never happen, but... Of course, I'm going to take my Zippo hand warmers to put in my coat pocket. But for now, they'll go in the haversack. I'm going to take some bug repellent. Although it's supposed to be in the 40 to 40... Two forty-three degrees early Tuesday morning. Zero percent chance of rain. But I always like to have some bug spray just in case. And then of course I'm going to take my Avant uh, Spark headlamp, which I have replaced the batteries. So uh, and then of course I always have my Coast G19 in my pocket, and I will that day as well. I'm going to take my Pirate Compass. Because it's never a good idea to go into the woods without a compass. I'm going to take, I always take some extra backup light. I'll have my lighter in my pocket like I always do. But I'm going to take these uh, UCO stormproof, weatherproof, whatever you call it, matches. In case I do need to start a fire. Um, also, I always like to take at least one pack of this quick start to help me get a fire started. Again, I'm not anticipating starting a fire, but just in case. And always a backup. You know how I am. Got my damn big lighter with the duct tape on it. Duct tape makes great tinder. It'll burn good enough to get you a fire started. And then another thing I forgot last time on my deer hunting trip. I didn't need them because I didn't shoot. But ear protection. So yeah, that all... In addition to that, I will take a empty um, water bottle for an outhouse, if you know what I mean. And I'll also put a bottle of Powerade in there. So the Powerade, uh, the empty bottle. Uh, for urination purposes. The earplugs, the head headlamp, the hand warmers, backup matches, the compass, the quick start. The bug repellent, the ammunition, and the binoculars. That's what's going to go in my haversack. I'll wear it on my left side walking in. I'll have my rifle on my right shoulder walking in. And it still gives me plenty of maneuverability. Haversacks are awesome. And as opposed to carrying my big backpack, I don't need all that stuff. We're just going to go out before sun up, sit in the stand until, well, until I get a deer or until my back starts killing me. Anyway, my plans are to go Tuesday, get out there, sit in the stand, set up the camera. Oh yeah, the camera will have to go in the haversack as well and my battery's about to die so anyway hopefully Tuesday I'll have a video of you for you of me harvesting a deer on camera till next time keep calm carry on keep puffing keep it outdoors